Brief history of the basement. The basement is where my collection began. When I started building this collection back in the year 2000, I started by displaying all my collectible items down in the basement, beginning with the sports car collection and then with some action figures and die casts. And the action figures and die casts would be like roughly from the late 90s. And then by about the year 2007, maybe 2008, I had maximized all the display space I can use down in the basement. And I had to start coming up the stairwell of the basement to display more items, as you will see very shortly in these videos. So that was around the year 2008, 2009. Then by, year, by the year 2010, I had maximized all the space I could use down there. And I come up to the top floor here and create showrooms A and showroom B. And now on to the basement. So here's a staircase leading down to my basement. And as you can see here, it's adorned on both sides by action figures and die cast. And once again, this is a lot of the action figures and die cast that I accumulated between the years 2008 and 2010 when I started running out of space in the basement and had to come up on the stairwell here. And then down here, these tiers are more recent die cast. I've gotten, I acquired these die cast maybe the past two years from about 2016, 2017 to through 2019. I'll start taking it through it from top left. There are some Redline Club cars, Camaro, Boss, Haas, and a VW. All in red. It's kind of why I grouped them together that way. And more Redline Club cars you're seeing here. Camaro, Mustang. Another cool Camaro right there. These are like specialty event promo cars. And now we're into some Walmart exclusive holiday rods. A couple of VWs from the Garage Series. And a few more specialty cars here. And then more Easter exclusive cars from Walmart down here. And then for some hockey figures, there's a Crosby white jersey chase. And over here are some Team Canada exclusive white jersey figures. They were a shared exclusive between Canada Retail and Clark Toys. There's the goalies, Bobby Lou and Marty Brodeur. And there you got Taves and Stahl. And over here you got Rick Nash and Sidney Crosby again. And making our way down to the display here. Up on top, another M2 Red Camaro there. There's a Patrick Waugh mini bobblehead. And then below those are a couple NHL legends. On the right is Lanny McDonald in the Calgary Flames jersey. And over here is a very cool looking Don Cherry figure uh, with the dog grapes. Don decked out there in a spiffy plaid jacket. Uh, Don's known for his affinity for loud jackets and old time physical hockey. Below those two are a couple more Leafs. That's Lanny McDonald again, this time in a Leafs jersey on the right. And over here is a Wendell Clark. Uh, that was a Canada Tire box exclusive. Another Carm contribution here. It's a Team Canada white jersey Ed Bell for bobblehead. This is a Patrick Wah bobblehead. I actually found this myself at a 7-Eleven, believe it or not. A couple hockey sports picks here. There's Alexei Kovalev and Ryan Smith in the white chase jersey. And these are Philadelphia BC Collectibles exclusive figures. BC Collectibles is a specialty store based out of Philly. Not sure if they're still around. But these were coming through their store some years ago. And I picked them up through their online store. There you see Brian Dawkins, Chase Utley, Ryan Howard, and Cole Hamels. And I think these Phillies figures were produced after the Phils won the World Series in 2009. Back to the top display, still on the left side. So a row of basketball figures, starting with a D-Rose rookie figure. There's a Chris Paul chase. 
Brian James in a yellow Cavs jersey. Paul Gasol. Kevin Garnett. Chase figure with a championship trophy. And this row we got some hockey. Uh, Reagan Chase, Nick Backstrom. Chase Marion Gabarik. Scott Gomez. Patrick Kane. Phil Kessel Chase. And then there are Dustin Penner. Now we're on to some football. There's a McNabb Chase. Ryan Grant surprise figure. Red Favre Chase. Reagan Chase, Michael Crabtree. Chase Drew Brees. Niles Austin. Richard Mendenhall. There's the there's the regular figure of Mendenhall. There's the white chase. And here's a exclusive retro third jersey Mendenhall figure. And then Mark Sanchez again. As well as Tim Tebow. Chris Beanie Wells surprise figure and John Riggins Jets chase figure. And the football legends figures continue on this row. Reagan Chase, Marcus Allen, Jerome Bettis. Reagan Chase, Dick Buckus. And some kind of noteworthy about this Dick Buckus figure. Let me show it to you here. I found this figure at a Walmart, and there must have been about seven or eight Dick Buckus figures in the peg. And what caught my eye in particular about this one was the way that McFarland painted his jersey. The other seven or eight Buckus figures in the peg, his jersey on those. It was not as dark as this one I observed, and also was more of a flat blue. Whereas this, this one caught my eye because the blue is darker, like a more navy blue, and also they must have used like a glossy paint app to make it look like the jersey was wet. So like a darker blue and made it look like wet. Just kind of caught my eye. Thought it was very cool and I had to pick it up. And then over here, the white jersey Dick Buckus chase figure. Another legend here, Tony Dorsett, Reg and Chase figure. And here are two surprise Chase figures. Uh, Vikings quarterbacks, Randall Cunningham and Warren Moon. And continuing down the left side of the staircase, here's a couple of Ford COA trucks that were Peterson Museum exclusives. And some M2 Kudas, red cars. And as I said before, these die casts down here are more of my recent die cast, simply because I ran out of room with a lot of the die casts and showrooms A and B upstairs, so I had to go along the stairwell here. There's a couple of uh, hobby exclusive VW uh, vans from Greenlight. That was from 2017, as you can see there. And an M2 Camaro. And the, these tiers of die casts are just a mix of uh, Johnny Lightning, M2, uh, Green Light Machines, a lot of American Muscle, see a lot of Camaros in here. There's some golf cars. Or Johnny Lightnings, M2, again American Muscle down here. And that's uh, Cousin Eddie's RV from Chris's Vacation from Green Light. And there's a Bandit's Pontiac 77TA from Smoking the Bandit. More of the same on this tier here. Again, more Camaros. Johnny Lightnings. And there's a Greenlight Toys R Us exclusive uh, Ram 2500 in trailer. There's a couple of pink cars. There's a Shelby with the white tires. Shelby Cobra. 
think this one's a Mijo. Yeah, it's a Mijo uh, pink Cadillac -like exclusive. Fishing off the left side of the stairwell here with the die cast. Here is a Hot Wheels two pack from AutoZone with a Camaro in it. And another Camaro there. There are some Camaros from the Jetta line of die cast. A few more cars from Jetta right here. And some Volkswagen vans. And these blacked out cars from the Black Bandit series of, of green light machines. Auto hauler two back from M2 with Pontiac GTOs in it. And a Chevy truck on the bottom. On the overhang of the stairwell are a collection of specialty Hot Wheels. These four up top here are from the Real Rider series. Again, they have rubber tires and metal chassis. And now we're to some Ultra Hots Hot Wheels. You got a lot of American Muscle, Camaros, Mustangs, Chevelles, GTO. Down here is a Flash Rider truck and a custom VW Bug. And then this specialty series of Hot Wheels is called 100% on the bottom row here. Moving now to the right side of the stairwell that has the action figures and die cast on this side. And then starting from the top right, it's a Dodge D100 Greenlight exclusive truck. And then some Redline Club cars here from Hot Wheels, a custom Mustang, Plymouth Barracuda, Pontiac Firebird, a GMC Motorhome, and a Chevy truck. More cars here from the Greenlight Black Bandit Collection. These are the blacked out cars. Two rows here of Johnny Lightning, all different series and makes and models. Panel trucks. American Muscle. Shelby, Mustang. Zingers, Buick Grand National. Camaros. Tiny Lightnings continue up here with this gold chrome finished Shelby GT from the Holiday Classic series. And here's one with the Zamac finish. Camaros. More American Muscle and panel trucks. I acquired most of these giant lightnings from my collection between 2007 and 2009, and I scored almost every one of them at Toys R Us because they were coming through Toys R Us at that time. Here's a Hummer from the Wicked Wagon series. Another Hummer there. Up top, some Matchbox cars in the 60th Anniversary series. 
Speed Racer. Police car. Another Camaro. There's a Chevy Nova with a cool chrome finish. As well as a Charger. And these eight cars you see on the left here are from a series called Calendar Cars. I think I found all these at KB. Marked down. KB Toys. And then back to some Walmart short-carded Johnny Lightnings. More various die casts here on the lower right side of the stairwell along the stairs. There's a Star Wars 2-pack with the C-3PO gold uh, drag bus. That's a Target exclusive Howdy Hot Rods 3-pack. More Johnny Lightning. And one of those cool chrome cars down here. There's a Hot Wheels Danica Patrick stock car from the Specialty Series. And down here are some wrestling cars from a Hot Wheels Entertainment Series of Wrestling, WWE. This is from the Monster Jams, the Monster Truck Series with the Bone Shaker. A few more Walmart exclusive cars here. And then a couple of Walgreens exclusive two-packs. Here are four Target exclusive cars. Down here are a couple of Hot Wheels final runs. Above those two is a Johnny Lightning commemorative Corvette. As well as another Johnny Lightning Corvette up here. And here is a Hot Wheels Batman 5-pack. And down here, it's a little blacked out Cadillac Escalade from Jetta. This bulletin board, just some older green light machines from the Muscle Car Garage series. Again, probably came out between 2007 and 2009. Just different American muscle here. You see some of them with flames. They're from a series called Up in Flames of, of Green Lights. They're pretty sharp. Found a little spot along the stairwell, stairwell here amongst the cars for some G.I. Joe figures. There's a Cobra Trooper. A Crimson Guard. And a Snow Serpent. And we'll see more of these in the collection later on. A few more items here. A couple of G.I. Joe figures. An M2 Chevy Nomad Black with Flames. And a Dodgers Manor Mirrors little 3-inch figure. And here are the sports picks that occupy the right side of the stairwell. It's baseball legends, along with some modern day ball players. And then down here is a wave of basketball legends. Starting here on the right side, there's Carlton Fisk in a White Sox jersey. Lou Gehrig, gray jersey chase. Catfish Hunter, pinstripes chase figure. Couple of Willie McCoveys, regular Giants, Chase and the Padres. Nolan Ryan features a Met. There's Ozzy Smith doing a backflip in a cool powder blue St. Louis Cardinals jersey. Down here are three Ricky Hendersons, 
See one here in Yankees pinstripes and two Oakland A's Hendersons with the chase in the green jersey. Now for some modern guys. There's Roy Halladay in a third Phillies jersey, retro jersey. A couple CeCe Sabathias here. Regular and pinstripes Yankees and the chase and the road Yankees gray uniform with the World Series trophy inside. Victor Martinez, gray jersey chase. Evan Longoria, Reagan Chase. It's Tim Lincecum. Here's Roy Halliday again in pinstripes. Prince Fielder. Back to legends now. Carl Yastrzemski, Reagan Chase, Jason the Gray. There's Tony Gwynn, regular and Chase figure. This one's pretty cool. It's Lou Gehrig. And you can see there he's delivering his Luckiest Man Alive speech. And this one's a chase figure because it features him in a sepia tone paint. Made to recreate the way you would see Lou Gehrig in an old 1930s newspaper. Because back then they didn't have TVs. And a couple of Joe Morgan. Reds figure there on the right. And the chase figure here in that very cool Astros jersey they wore back in the 70s and 80s. Chase figure. Thurman Munson, gray jersey chase here. And Babe Ruth, chase figure. Uh, inside you'll see a replica ticket from the 1932 World Series held at Wrigley Field. And of course that's Babe with the now famous called shot home run. And below the baseball figures are a wave of NBA legends, beginning with the NBA logo himself, Jerry West. A couple of fears of Isaiah Thomas here. A white jersey regular. And the blue jersey chase figure. Here's Oscar Robertson chase figure in a Cincinnati Royals jersey. There's Magic Johnson. They only offered one version of him in the gold Lakers jersey there. And a Clyde Drexler chase figure in a Rockets jersey. The regular has him in the uh, Portland Trailblazers. And on the end here, this is a Dwight Howard exclusive figure uh, in the black Magic jersey. Available only through the Orlando Magic store online. Finishing off the store with some hockey figures going from top. There's Eveni Malkin. That's his rookie figure, Reagan Chase. Trevor Linden, a throwback Canucks jersey. Former Sabres goalie, Ryan Miller. Alexander Ovechkin, Reagan Chase. There's the Golden Jet, Bobby Hall, and a Winnipeg Jets jersey. Wayne Gretzky is a St. Louis Blue. It's Jason Spezza. Bobby Orr features a Chicago Blackhawk where he finishes his career, I think. So Regan Chase, Cam Neely. Uh, Regan the Boston, Chase in the Vancouver Canucks jersey where he actually began his career. It's Hall of Fame goaltender Johnny Bauer, Regan Chase. Mr. Hockey himself, Gordy Howe. It's Wayne Gretzky, features a member of the New York Rangers. Kind of giving his farewell there. It's the last team he finished with before he retired. There's a GameStop exclusive Chris, Pro Chris Pronger Hits figure. In a, in a kind of a Hits jersey, I guess. It was meant to promote a video game coming out at that time. NHL Hits. And a couple of die casts down below those hockey figures. From Hot Wheels. It's a Mustang 5-pack. And then down here are a couple more M2 cars.